So as you've probably heard by now, there's a major scandal that's been uncovered from a few major YouTubers by the names of Pro Syndicate and T. Martin. Uh, it's been covered by pretty much all the gaming media outlets. Like, you can't go anywhere and not read about this story. And that's actually one reason why I wasn't going to talk about it, because there's, there's nothing really that I can add to it that hasn't been said before. But I am doing a video on this because there have been new developments in just the last few hours, so I'll give you an update on what's going on with that. But even outside the gaming world. I mean, this story has been picked up by the BBC, ESPN, like it's reaching worldwide. So real quick, for those of you who don't know, here's the Cliff Notes version of what happened. So you've got Counter-Strike, which of course is a huge game. And one of the most popular features lately has been the ability for people to acquire skins in Counter-Strike. So a lot of games allow you to get skins, but what makes this game different is that Valve has built in a market system that allows you to basically then sell your skin for real world currency. And so a lot of these skins, you know, aren't worth anything like but just a few cents. But some of these skins, believe it or not, are literally worth thousands of dollars. People are paying big bucks for some of this. And so you've got people doing reaction videos, you know, opening up crates on video, doing live streams where they buy a bunch up and then try to open it to see if they get anything uh, really big. So this is really popular in some corners of the internet. So because of this market system, you've got some sites that have been popping up on the internet that allow you to basically gamble with these skins because these skins have a value to them. And so this has caused a lot of controversy because people are saying this is really no different from being able to go to a casino and gamble with chips. Just in the same way that chips have a value when you're at the casino, here these skins have a real world value. And so this, to a lot of people, is unregulated gambling. And not only that, but it's gambling for kids because anybody can go in and do this. So both T. Martin and Pro Syndicate have been doing these reaction videos and promoting a site called CSGO Lotto. So T. Martin did a video claiming that, you know, he had just happened to stumble upon this site. And so then they got into a conversation with the creators of the site who seem really cool. And so, you know, he's promoting this site now. And so he's posted up videos where he supposedly won $13,000 in one video and so both youtubers acted as if this was just like the greatest thing ever and they just happened to stumble upon it but it turns out they were both owners of this very site that they were gambling on that they were advertising and they didn't tell a damn soul and now they're in deep shit because one, it's against the law not to disclose that type of information, especially when you're advertising it the way that they were. And two, now they're being sued. That is the breaking story tonight. Um, this just happened a few hours ago. You see, there was already a lawsuit on the books from a parent who found out his kid had been doing this or her kid or whatever. I don't know. It's just a parent. And so they found out that their kid was involved in this unregulated gambling. And on top of this, they claim that Valve is advertising this for children. And so because a lot of these people who are doing this are in their mid to early teens. So once this parent found out about this, they launched a lawsuit against Valve. Now that lawsuit is including T. Martin and Pro Syndicate. And of course, if you own a site, you can control its contents. And it is a very real possibility that these videos that they created where they won all this money, they could have actually won that amount of money. And it's also a very real possibility that they rigged the system to make that happen. Essentially stealing and defrauding all of those other people involved. And the reason I say this is possible is because this is exactly what another prominent YouTuber admitted the other day. His name, Sign Syndicate. And so he claims that he was approached by a website that provided him some really high value skins. And so all he had to do was post videos pretending he was unboxing them. And so he pretended that they were randomly generated. He didn't know what was inside, but in fact, 
He did know what was inside. There were high value items worth up to $4,000. And so he was just posting all these fake reaction videos. The game was rigged. So this is big money that we're talking about. Uh, in fact, there's been some sites, uh, some investigative sites that have uh, looked into it and found out that this is a multi-billion dollar industry right now in this game, selling these skins and things, which seems crazy to me because until this story really broke, uh, I had never even really paid attention to it. Like I've heard people talk about it before occasionally and you know, I've seen some videos pop up in my sub box for it, but I've never really watched them, never really, you know, got into it cuz I I don't understand that craze to be honest because I'm the type of guy who I don't even customize my character a lot of times in games like cuz hell, most games I can't even see myself. So what do I care what I look like, you know? But some people really get into these skins and really get into the customization. So the entire story is just beyond shady. And I mean, whenever you have these people, here's here's what, you know, drives me up the wall. You've got these guys who have tons of subs. They get tons of views. They they are making a lot of money just on YouTube alone. And yet they have to go out and create a scam to get even more. Like how greedy can you be, right? And I mean, you can tell just by looking where they film these videos, they live in some really nice and fancy houses, and they were able to afford those because of their viewers. And yet, they didn't give a damn about their viewers. All they cared about was making money. And so now some of these key players have apologized. Uh, T. Martin, though, actually came out and attacked the very people who uncovered this. Uh, because there were some people who dug deep, researched this, found out who owned this website that they were promoting, and found out that their names were attached to it. And he even went as far to say, you know, how could these people sleep at night? How could they live with themselves when in fact it was him who should have been asking himself these very questions? How could you live with yourself? How could you sleep at night knowing that you're such a shady shit? And yesterday, T. Martin posted up like this non-apology apology video, which he's already taken down because everybody bashed him for it, where he starts out, you know, kissing his dog, trying to get, I guess, sympathy there. And then he goes in to start defending his actions. And he's still claiming that everybody should have known that he owned the website, even though he did a video months ago saying, hey, I just happened to stumble upon this website. He's a complete liar. And you know, normally I try to stay out of the YouTube drama, but I mean, this goes beyond drama. This is now entering the realm of fraud and flat out breaking the law. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some links down below to some videos. If you want to see the in-depth uh, case laid out against these people, these are some really well done videos that I'm going to link. These are the videos that actually shine the spotlight on this issue. And I think once you watch these, and then you watch like T. Martin's non-apology apology video, um, you're going to walk away with the impression that this guy is just a complete, total sleazeball. And I honestly hope they get everything that they deserve. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube gaming channels. Uh, and you just got to be careful, man, because uh, you just got to be skeptical. Because someone who is telling you about the next best, greatest thing out there, there's more than likely an ulterior motive behind it. It's not always the case. Some people are really talking about products that they really believe in, products that they really like and enjoy, and that sucks for those people, but you got to be skeptical. Do your homework always before, you know, just taking one YouTuber's word on anything. And so it's sad, but it's true. Just can't believe everything you see on TV, and you certainly can't believe everything you see on YouTube either. A lot of these people are just so fake, and it's so clear just watching them do their videos. So anyway, links down below if you want to read more and see more about this story. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. So over the last few days, I've been seeing my box fill up with all these, you know, raving reviews for this game called Inside. Everybody's saying, you gotta go play this game, you gotta go play it, you know, it's great. 
And to be honest, this was a game I don't even remember seeing this or hearing anything about it until the game had actually released. Like I was just reading reviews and I'm like, hey, where, where did this game even come from? And so this isn't the type of game that I normally care for. So it's possible that I saw it and I just didn't, you know, it just didn't leave a lasting impression with me. But last night I decided to try it out to find out why so many people are saying you gotta buy this game or try it out.